Hey everybody, this is Chris Tutaka here back with another unboxing. Today I have an unboxing from Barnes & Noble. It's another manga pickup, so let's get to the unboxing. This actually came really fast. Um, I bought the- I literally ordered this, I would say Wednesday, and it's Friday, so it came pretty fast, which was very shocking for me. I got a, I, this is probably the most I've ever purchased, because I'm like, I'm reading too much- I'm reading too many titles, that's the problem. Way too many. Get the receipt out. Bubble wrap. Yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. And like, I'm just trying to grab it as, like, I'm trying to grab it in handfuls. Because I can't see. I'm focused- I'm literally, like, staring into the lens- like, the, the window finder in the camera. But, uh, here we go. So, the first volume. This is not in order, as you can see. Black Butler, Volume 5. Here's the front. Spine. Back. I'm really enjoying this series. Drawing it a little much- I'm drawing it much more, I would say, than the anime. But it's- they're both still- but they're both still pretty good. Uh, Dead Men Wonderland Volume 8, with Senji on it, front, spine, back. If you really enjoyed the anime, I highly recommend you read the manga. It's really good. Very interesting. Then we got Sword Art, uh, this is the progressive volume, which is the side story for Asuna, Volume 2, front. Spine, back. Hopefully, I'll be picking up more of the light novels soon. I do read the light novels as well. Uh, the progressive one did come out. Is have a does have a light novel series, so I probably will pick that up and get volume four of the Sword Art light novel. And here we have Citrus again with Yuzu and May. Front, spine. Back. This is a really good series. I mean, it's it's okay. It's a little slow, in my opinion. For some reason. She reminds me of Senna Kashiwazaki from Haganai and Yozara from Haganai. So like, I don't know, I, I, because like she's really mean and cold and she's like, I guess like a, a ditz, sort of a big bimbo ditz. So it's, it's funny and it reminds me of it, so it kind of, it's like a, to me it's like a doujin for Yozara and Senna. <laughs> and we have Nisekoi Volume 9 with Kozaki. Haru, and I do not know who this is. I think this is Onodera sister as well. I know these are the Onodera sisters, I believe. Front, spine, back. Gotta love Nisakura. Then, Black Butler, Volume 6, with CL. Front, spine, back. This is cool because um, this starts the Noah's Ark Circus arc. If you did not watch Black, if you did not see uh, Black Butler made a third season last year, Black Butler broke a circus. That's what it was all based off of Volume Six, and I believe Volume Seven of the Noah's Ark Circus. This arc in Black Butler, and it was really, I heard it was really like, in, like really accurate towards the manga. I mean, I watched it; it was really good. I enjoyed it. And I picked up a new series. This is called uh, Evergreen. Here's the front. Here's the spine. Here's the back. I really have no idea what this is about. I think this is a swimming manga. Um, I, I've read for the synopsis in Marvel novel. It's, it's supposed to be like this guy has a crush on this girl and she's a swimmer, so don't know. Um, it's probably a romantic comedy series. It's probably really, it's probably to be good. I don't know. Let's see how that is. And then here is Black Butler Volume 7 with the joke with Joker on the front of the volume. Front. Spine, back. I really did enjoy this uh, arc. I know this is Beast, this is Dagger, this is Doll, and then Sebastian. It's a, it's, this is actually one of my probably fit. I like the Noah's arc, arc, so hopefully it's good. And then here's Dragonar Academy Volume 6 with Echo, front, spine, back, and I believe this is Navi. Uh, Dragonar Academy is a good series. I mean, I've done the boxing. I mean, I showed this volume uh, manga series before. It's good. It's not spectacular. It's it's decent. And then this one I'm really excited about. This is so freaking heavy. This is the final volume to Rosario plus Vampire, with Mocha on the front in her wedding dress, spine. This is so thick. This manga in the back. This is really 
It's probably the thickest Vizaria Vampire volume ever. This is volume 24, you could say. Vizaria Vampire tw volume 24. I can see season 2, volume 14. This is the final volume. I do read the Vizaria Vampire series. It's very, very good. It's completely different from the manga. Really, completely different. And I really, you know what? I'm just gonna show the poster. I come to those, those little mini posters. Um, it's Mocha. Oh, sorry about that. Mocha, and then this is all the characters in their chibi form. The final volume. I'm very excited. I can't wait to read this. Um, there's also going to be, um, if anyone is, is wondering, if you want to pick up the whole series, don't want to spend the money, they're making a Rosario Vampire manga box set coming out in November. So all 24 volumes, there's going to be a bonus little thing in there. I think it's a bonus, like they have bonus comics in there, which is going to be cool. We'll be picking that up in November because I, my, my Rosario Vampire manga is actually, all the manga that I have for Rosario Vampire, they're actually pretty shot because they're like my, it's like, that's the first manga series I've ever picked up was Rosario Vampire. And like, I damaged the hell out of that series. So like, I want to get new manga volumes for it. So I will be picking that up. And so here's all the manga that I picked up for this month of May, May 15th, 2015. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this one, I will be picking up manga, you know, every month like I usually do. Um, soon I'll probably, probably by next month I'll have another anime pickups mostly. It's going to be Sword Art Online. You know, get the standard Blu-rays for Sword Art Online, all that, all that jazz. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. See you guys next time.